Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today at CES in Las Vegas, where behind me is a BMW that literally changes color. This is the BMW iX Flow featuring e-ink and we're going to have a full demonstration of what this can do and how it does it. But they have also used CES to present the world debut of the iX M60, which we can take a look at as well. But I need to get my head around what's happening behind me here. This is a little bit crazy. What we're looking at here then is a BMW quite literally transforming in front of our eyes. This is the BMW iX, the flow featuring e-ink and we could explore it. So it's based in this case on the iX xDrive 50. The M60 variation, the most high performance version has just been launched as well. The iX being the BMW i electric brands, luxury upmarket SUV you could say, but just take in exactly what's happening in front of our eyes. The entire body panels, the mirrors and even the covers on the wheels are finished with this material which allows it to change between different colors. Now of course this is a proof of concept, something the team have been working on to bring e-ink into the cars, to think about different scenarios and what it could be used for, but I've got the controller and we can test out some of those in a moment. For now though, just taking in a bit of the design of the iX, you have that very very prominent grille up front leading into these almost racing stripes with the curves, the sporty shapes over the top, the narrow headlights to give it that look as well. And being the xDrive 50 means in this case we have the 105.2 kilowatt hour battery which makes 523 horsepower, 734 newton meters. But obviously as I mentioned this is a proof of concept. Picture the scenario for example on a hot day your car could turn white, on a cold day it could go black to help with the thermal properties. You also have for example mirrors that could independently blink to replace your traditional blinkers indicators. It could, for example, as you walked up to it, have a motion sensor that detects you arriving and light up. Small details, small touches, ideas, what it could be used for into the future. We'll go and have a look at the M60, but I do have the controller for this to experiment with it a little bit more. They kindly let me log in on my phone just to have a little play behind the scenes so I can change it to do different things. And in fact, I'm going to focus just on the wheels initially because you can see quite a lot with these. I can turn the wheels to the full black look or I can make them go to the full white or I can make them start and build up the speed as they pulse around with those five different segments. Lots of fun controls with what I can do with that as you can see it's speeding up and starting to flash. With the main car itself we've got the ability to well make it fully black, to make it fully white, to have it fading, to have it changing between different designs, different color schemes. For example you could set it to just have those stripes on the bonnet like that of a pair of twin racing stripes. If we go to the mirrors, to the blinkers, if I come around towards this side the entire car will change to one solid color and then the blinkers in a moment we'll start to blink in the opposite. You can see actually we've got the split colour scheme at the moment with the entire design. So let's pop it back into performance. There we go. And then use the mirrors blinkers setting. And those will, in theory, in a second to start to blink away. Yes, the car goes to white and then it flashes, I think, the driver's side first, and then we'll get the passenger side blinking afterwards. And you can see as an idea, triple blink in the way that you would normally have your um normal indicator blink if you're indicating to change lanes. So there is a lot to this, a lot of fun things that you can do with it. It says just pressing buttons in the background and playing and learning about this crazy idea. Now of course this is based on the e-ink philosophy. So you have this material coated all over the car, about a thousand microns thick, the e-ink itself being about 200 microns of that. Of course early stages of development that they've been working on this and at the moment using colours that I guess we know from the likes of e-readers going between white and black, the different grayscales. But this could be done with colours and ultimately it could be done using a full colour wheel. You could have the option to change it to just about any colour that you could imagine down the line. So as, a, as an idea, as a concept, this is obviously something really quite unusual and you can see the geometric patterns that it has when it's lit up in white like this and of course these are down to the shapes and curvatures of the car so on the flatter segments like you can see here in the middle of the doors obviously those can be larger where it gets more intricate and more sharp lines especially around there towards the tail lid you can see that they have to get a little bit closer in order for this to work over the body of the car itself I've never seen anything like it and this is certainly turning a lot of heads here at CES. Quite an extraordinary thing to see but I guess I should pop it back 
onto the full mode so that we can see it doing its thing. Look at that, changing colour completely all the way through the car. Crazy, absolutely crazy. As a special bonus, we can take a look inside here at this exhibit featuring a future BMW model, no comment on what it may be, launching in a couple of months, but in particular, a piece of technology to show you inside here the new BMW theatre screen that you can see up top. Now with a press or a swipe of the control pad here, a press of fold down, and it has this 31 inch 8K system for entertainment in the back of the car. Let me take a seat inside here. We have 4D audio and this gigantic screen, obviously sitting behind the front seats with 4D sound, giving you the feeling through vibrations in the seat as well with Amazon Fire built in. So plenty of entertainment and different systems. Of course, with safety first, there is a switch up front if the driver needs to raise this so that it's not obstructing their view. We've got the full panoramic roof up top as well. But of course, this is all mysterious, taking in future product here from BMW, but 31 inches of ultra widescreen view in front of me. The control pads on the door, the tablets that you have there, obviously everything inside here is camouflaged at the moment prior to the full introduction of this particular car. But I think you will have passengers rather keen to take a seat in the back of the car as opposed to up front with this. Wow, just learning and taking it in. Look at this, the full Amazon sit system and setup all in this screen that can be raised, lowered and folded away. And a press of the button folds it up and out of the way. Wow, that is um, quite exciting and cool. The BMW theatre screen, very mysterious. Apologies for the darkness and the focus, but this is part and parcel of the fun. I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what I'm sat in right now. We move back outside to take a look at this then, the world debut of the BMW iX M60, the M derivative of the iX. Now we can talk a little bit more about it. The iX is effectively X5 or equivalent in terms of its size. Twin motors, one for the front axle, one for the rear. But in the M60, well, it maintains the 105.2 kilowatt hour battery. The motors have just a touch more power. We are talking 610 horsepower and up to 1,100 newton meters of torque. That means this car can do the zero to 60 mile per hour sprint in about 3.6 seconds. Visually, it's actually fairly consistent to the xDrive 50. We have the addition of a new set of wheels, an M-specific set of wheels, and the upgraded brakes to go with that. We have the M badging, this black badging, with the gold accents to match with the gold on the door handles and the surround around the bottom through to the rear of the windows. Similarly, at the rear, the iX badging and the M60 badge that's worn over on the other side beneath those very narrow tail lights you have across the back. Now, you might be able to hear in the background the noises of BMW's My Sound, the iconic sounds, a co creation with Hans Zimmer, the new sounds that will be sent out as upgrades to all iXs over the air updates, of course, possible with these cars to now feature these soundtracks. I was actually at the event with BMW at the BMW Velt in Munich when they first announced that partnership and introduced it. Around the front, you can see we've also got those gold touches through this front grille, the familiar kidney grille style, but of course, without needing the airflow through to cool a combustion engine behind they're presented in a very different way with all of these triangles and the different shapes that they carry through as well but visually otherwise the m60 has the same layout and style around the front and other than under full load would run equivalently to the ix m uh, sorry the ix x drive 50 in terms of its power so just over 500 horsepower or so BMW instead of the full whack 610. this is another m60 but let's come and take a look at the interior of the car, take a step on board because I haven't really checked this out before now. So you've got this curved display in front of the driver. The center featuring the new eighth generation of the iDrive software has a 14.9 inch screen with the slightly smaller display for the driver's dashboard. And this will change depending on your driver's mode. So you can have different views depending on exactly what you would like to see. Now inside here, of course, you have the latest generation of the system. You have the tiles, the tablets, you can bring up everything that you might expect to see, but there's so much more to it. So for example, there is even a camera up here. If the alarm goes off, the connected app 
will give you a notification that that has happened and it will show you a picture of exactly what's inside the car at that time. In terms of the interface and what you're touching and feeling, you've got the crystal clarity selector here in the center with this wooden panel sitting behind it. The mode selector for your driving has changed to this small little piece as well. And if I just pull the door to for a second, the seat controls similarly are through this with your memory saved seat settings as well. And this very unusually shaped steering wheel, the two spoke wheel, but all generally very nice inside here. Like I say, my first time really checking out the interior of the iX. You've got the charging pad down there. The car has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. You've got the quilted leather seats with the perforation heated and cooled seats. We've got the large electrochromic panoramic roof. So you can change that, open it up and make it visible should you prefer. And then similarly through the rear, the same levels of comfort and luxury features back there as well. Obviously a lot to play with a fairly cool day here in Las Vegas today. But this is all very nice in terms of the system, the software and the settings. And a good opportunity to take a first look for me inside the BMW iX. This is a demonstration of the new BMW maneuvering assistant, which is where the car can literally drive itself forwards or backwards on a pre-save route. Say for example, you have an awkward garage entry or exit. You can save it once and the car will learn and remember that for future maneuvering whether it's entering or leaving, as you can see here. So you literally would take your hands off the wheel and it would drive it similarly to the reverse assist that I've played with a number of times in the past and the park assist. It will now be able to do that in much more complicated environments for going into or out of a parking location. I've popped back around then to take another quick look at this, to watch it changing in front of our very eyes. It is absolutely fascinating to imagine the use cases for this, what could be done with it. You could literally have an app on your phone with a full color wheel and select any color you want and the car could just instantly change. I mentioned earlier that it could light up perhaps as you walk towards it. You could even have it writing down the side of the car, hi to the owner perhaps, whatever you could think of, this could potentially do. And we're literally seeing it changing here just like on an e-reader, as I mentioned, the e-ink technology, but in this case used over the entirety of what would normally be the painted panels on the body of the BMW iX. And of course, this is a demonstration. This is early stages. This is proof of concept, let's say, of the options as we have the racing stripes there down the front and over the roof as well. But you could imagine this being done just on the grill, just on a small panel of the car, perhaps on the inside of the car, the door mirrors, as I mentioned earlier, all sorts of different ideas and things that they could go with. But again, it's really interesting for me to see cars and products like this in the automotive world being launched here at CES at the technology show. Of course, this is the direction so many of these things are heading, EVs, the electric car world, and of course the development of driver assistance systems and enhancements to the user experience of the cars through infotainment, through smart services, through all sorts of different things that they can offer. And this is, I suppose, the ultimate demonstration of something from the future. Is it a gray car? Is it a white car? What does that mean? What would it be registered as? What does it mean for the vinyl wrapping and color changing world? Who knows? All I know is that standing here watching this is totally bizarre and crazy. Just watching it change as you might normally see on your e-reader with these flows down the side at the moment giving a demonstration. When this first popped up and was seen, the initial spy shots, I think everybody was as surprised by that. Just extraordinary. Anyway, what an opportunity to come here to see the iX Flow featuring e-ink, to check out the interior of something new as well and the theatre screen and also of course the global debut of the iX M60. That's it for this time though. Thank you very much for joining me here at CES. I appreciate your support an awful lot. That's it for this time and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!